Hello viewers, welcome to the third section, Customizing Odoo for your business. In this section we will learn about a few topics. Understanding the Odoo architecture, adding a custom field to Odoo, editing the form view, customizing search operations in Odoo, understanding actions, create a new menu. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with understanding the Odoo architecture. In this video we are going to take a look at the primary components of Odoo application. Then we will learn how to get out of developer mode. Before you can begin understanding Odoo, it is important that you have a basic understanding of the underlying architecture that makes up Odoo applications. Fortunately you don't have to be an expert developer to understand how the Odoo framework fits together. Each Odoo application has three primary components that make up the final Odoo application. These are models, views and actions. The first component of Odoo is models. In the Odoo framework, models are what hold and manage the data that make up your Odoo application. When you save a sales order in Odoo, the data for the sales order header is stored inside a model appropriately named sale.order. Individual data items such as order date and customer address are known as fields. The second component of Odoo is views. Models by themselves do not display any information to the end user. Data that is stored from the models is displayed in your applications using views. This allows the sale.order model information to display in a variety of different ways. The third and final component that pulls together the framework is actions. Actions are what trigger appropriate views to be displayed or for specific actions to take place on a model. To customize Odoo, the first step is to activate developer mode. Once you enter this mode, Odoo will provide you with a lot more on-screen information as you navigate through the interface. This mode also allows you to make changes to the database and store that information in a file. To activate developer mode, click on the settings menu. On the far right you will see a panel that contains information about the Odoo installation. At the bottom of the panel you will see the link to activate the developer mode. Once you have entered this screen, you can click on Activate the Developer Mode to begin customizing Odoo. Odoo recognizes that you are in developer mode by adding question mark debug to the URL in your web browser. Additionally, Odoo changes the information that is provided when your mouse cursor hovers over various fields in the interface. For example, when viewing a sales order record while in developer mode, you can move the cursor over the label for the confirmation date field to reveal details about how that field is represented internally in Odoo. This screen demonstrates how Odoo displays information while you are in developer mode. In this example, we can see that the confirmation date field is named confirmation underscore date and that the field belongs to the sale.order model object. Additionally, we can see the field type is date time and there are modifiers assigned to the field. This type of information will be of great value as you continue to customize Odoo. Let's see how to get out of the developer's mode. Now that you are in developer mode, there will come a time when you want to exit developer mode and work with Odoo as you normally would. To exit developer mode, simply go back to the settings menu and choose the deactivate the developer mode link. Alternatively, you can simply remove debug from the URL string in your browser. Make sure you leave all question marks and ampersand symbols in place when you remove the debug tag from the URL. If you get any errors or other unusual behavior after removing debug from your URL, you can typically use your browser's back button. If this also fails, you can always restart the browser and log back into Odoo.